Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection review. We're looking at the Imperial Assault Tank. Uh, this is, you know, so far only started in Rogue One. Fantastic vehicle, a big thanks to a good friend of mine uh, who sent this out to me a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I was just completely blown away, it was a big surprise. I had no idea what he was sending me and I'm over the moon uh, with this vehicle. It is absolutely fantastic, I love this thing so much. And big thanks to Only One Kenobi for hooking me up with this uh, tank gunner, tank trooper. He's awesome. I did just do a review of him a couple of weeks back as well. And this guy sitting in here. He is um, just one of the five POA boys. So I'll get rid of him. But yeah, really, really blown away by the detail of this. Um, Hasbro's done a really good job on their vintage collection vehicles uh, over the last few years. And this is absolutely just fantastic the weathering is beautiful um so i hope i do some do some justice uh just looking at the sort of weathering and just sort of go over go over it once and uh the sort of weathering and detail and all the spots just in here it's fantastic really really nice the back sort of scuffing on the metal plates there all the sort of wear and tear that you'd expect from a um, military vehicle like this one. All the way through these turrets. The front. It just looks really, really good. <laughs> I just love all the weathering and the wear and tear and all that sort of good stuff all over this thing. Uh, underneath obviously they didn't really need to do anything there they did do a little bit of scuffing there uh, which is cool but it does have like a rubber tread so this thing does actually roll along which is really really nice those are only the outer two wheels are stationary uh, movable and the rest is sort of stationary they're glued into the mold there not glued in but they're part of the mold Uh, it does have these, the Kyber containers. It does come with three of these. They're nicely weathered and detailed as well. They look great. So it does come with a couple of those. And there's another one. And the third one actually does open up, which is fantastic. So let's get a close up look. beautiful thing about this the three top three canisters here do do come out so I'm just going to take one out as you can see there's a hole and we're left with this little, tiny little accessory here it's one of the kyber cylinders and there you have it there is a kyber crystal in there so that's just a really really cool accessory and it just pops back in there Closes up, beautiful, absolutely fantastic. So let's talk about the, the tank itself and some of the features and opening hatches and all that sort of stuff. So this one has a couple open doors so you can have a few troops standing in there. There are some pegs. And uh, I do believe that there is a way, maybe not. I thought there was a way to sort of put these up as uh, railings or guards but uh, perhaps I'm wrong on that on, on that account. And you can sort of just slot them in the side there. I think that's that's maybe what I was getting at, as they do just um, slot in the side there uh, for when they're not in use. But, uh, yeah, they do just sort of sit nicely. I did have them the other way, I think. In there. I may even have them the wrong way around again, but that's okay. They fit, they sit in there nicely, that's good. There's a access hatch here. To a bit of a engine. So that's nice. A little bit of weathering there, not too much. This is mostly pretty clean, but that's okay. Um, being that it is 
inside a hatch it probably doesn't see the see the weathering that is actually a really tight fit so <laughs> just gonna try not to force that too much and I'll, I'll just leave that for the moment so coming down here this hatch does flip up room for a trooper to stand in there as I showed at the start of the video you also have this hatch pops out so you can just have the trooper's head again like I showed earlier and this hatch pops off as well so it's some great detail in the cockpit here a couple of seats I like this one's sort of lower so his head's not going to hit the roof whereas this guy he's uh his seat's up a little bit higher so he can sort of pop his head through the through the hatch um the fact that this swivels is nice If you get a first, get a little bit of light, you can see a little bit of detail there behind the seat where that trooper stands. Sort of wires and pipe work and all that sort of stuff. Control panels all have stickers, um, which I didn't have to put on. They did that in the factory, so that's nice. It's always nice to get the stickers put on for you. I can never get them on straight myself. But yeah, the hatch just sort of pops on over the top. Now these cannons, this cannon at the front does swivel. And these two on the sides swivel as well. But yeah, I'm just super duper blown away by this vehicle. It is a fantastic piece. Um, yeah, I'd love to get some more, more troopers to surround this thing. Um, and uh, yeah, I didn't show the box at the start, so I have stored it away. Um, I don't often keep the boxes. Um, sometimes I do, I usually use them for storage. Um, just gives me an excuse to display the boxes uh, for the vintage collection stuff and be able to store some stuff at the same time. So again, they sort of sit in there very nicely, very comfortably. And uh, yeah, we'll get these troopers back in their spot. See, I'm hoping next year with the uh, it'll be the fifth anniversary of Rogue One. I'd uh, love to see some more characters come out. Um, there is rumours of them doing a six-inch black series, re-release of all the characters they've done, uh, mainly the Rogue One crew. Um, with updated facial print uh, like they did with the Rebels this year and probably I'm um, hopefully adding Bodhi Rook to the list and maybe another couple more characters like a Saw Gerrera um, an updated director Krennic that would be great but yeah I'd love to see some more in three and three quarter inch vintage collection I know they're slowly sort of getting through them um, we just got Chirrut recently uh, K2SO has come out this year as well. And Jin Cassian, Death Troopers, uh, Scarif Troopers. We've had a few few from uh, Rogue One, but uh, yeah, some more would be absolutely fantastic. But yeah, uh, stick around because I will just put a few images of the box up um, just so you can check out the box and uh, all the pictures and details on the side of that. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, what are your thoughts on Rogue One? <laughs> Do you feel old having it become five years next year, five years old? Well, it's four years now, really, um, which is still hard to believe. Incredible film. I don't watch it nearly enough. Um, it's just one of those one of those movies. I don't want to overdo it, so I watch it every now and then. But yeah, fantastic, fantastic film. You guys, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It'd be absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, don't hesitate to drop a comment and say hello. I do my very best to get back to each and every comment. So thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate all your time. Till my next video, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.